is what we're working on. Let me scoot that up a little. And we're gonna trace this on, but first we're gonna do our background. And I think we're gonna do, I'm gonna do it in a couple of colors. And I'm actually going to use my palette knife and make it a little bit of a bigger palette knife so it doesn't take 16 days to, um, to get it on. So we'll use that one, it's a little bigger. That was sticky anyway. Thank goodness. So I am going to just use some random colors. I am gonna use some white. And so I'm gonna put some white on my plate. And we're gonna, oh, just spattered paint on my face. Isn't it cute? It only took me like three tries to get it. So, oh, those eyes did do it. Those googly eyes. <laughs> Oh, okay, so now we are, hey Amanda, I can see your comments. Sarah, you shouldn't be upside down, you should be right side up. Okay, this is Seafoam by Delta. I do not share tracers unless you are in my membership. <sighs> tracers are uh, member privilege only, sorry. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this sea foam, which is kind of a blue, kind of a green, that sort of stuff. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of a beige color, which is called bleach sand. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me see. Ouch, ow. Hang on, it's a new, it's a new thing. Ugh. And uh, it had the plastic on it. So I'm gonna alternate a little bit between these colors. So we have a Hey K, a little bit more of a colorful background so that her white dress really pops. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with my white. So hopefully this is a nice color combination. There's something nasty there. So I'm going to start with my white and I'm going to do about the top third of the canvas just covering about 90% of my canvas with the white. Ooh, there's a little divot there so it's kind of hard to get in the corner. And then I'm going to come in with some of the um, beige, the bleach sand. So I'm just dabbing it on the back of my palette knife and just kind of wiggle it through and make it organic. Don't try to make hard starts and stops and I'll show you what I mean by that. So a hard start and stop would be like that. See how you have a solid line and it's almost like a rectangle. So you wanna just kind of wiggle it on so that it looks really organic and not um, have starts and stops. Okay, so I'm gonna go with a little bit of that. No, no, this is a fresh canvas, not painted, okay? So I'm gonna go with a little bit of this sea foam, and that's a little more bold than I want. A little more bold, but I can correct that, and I'll show you how. So I'm gonna go into my beige again, and we'll come right back over some of that sea foam and with white as well. So we're just gonna kind of wiggle on some color here and there so that we don't have a plain white canvas. Hey Wanda, Jesus loves you too, girl. So I'm gonna go back into my whites and we'll pull in a little bit of beige. And I really want the sea foam to be more of an accent color, so I'm gonna keep that to a minimum. But let's go. Woohoo, Fargo. Hey, Lori, awesome. Fargo in the house. Signed up for our challenge. So just wiggle on. See how I'm loading? And just wiggle on the paint. I'm gonna have to have some more white. I'm gonna do about a third of the way down, or two thirds of the way down. And then we're gonna blend in our other colors. 
just remember to keep it wiggly. Keep it abstract so it's organic and not uh, like, don't make hard lines. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna actually go in some of that sea foam first. That was really excessive. <laughs> Having a hard time. Should have got a little bit of a lighter color, but that's okay because we can go back over it with the bleach sand. and even a little bit of white. We just need to be easy on the white because that's what color her dress is gonna be, our little angel. So we don't want it to come off really, really, really white. My hand keeps going in the sticky. Hang on, I got some sticky on my cardboard because I resin a bunch of stuff today. So I'm gonna go back with my white and do this last section. So just get it on. Just get her on. Hello, North Dakota. My goodness, we are all over the country today. We're actually all over the world today. So there's our white. So we're going to come back. I'm going to clean that edge up a little. I'm gonna come back with a little bit of that sea foam. Kind of try to minimize that. And then we'll come into our beige again. Uh, Natalie, you can buy the glass from me. That is artshattered.com. Or if you don't want to buy the glass from me, you can uh, break your own. There's a video on the Christmas Tree Challenge Facebook page that shows you how to break your own glass safely. So whichever you prefer. I prefer you buy glass from me, <laughs> but you know how it goes. You, buy, you do what you want to do. I'm going to add just a tad more sea foam just up here. Cause that's a lot of that is going to be showing, so I'm going to add just a little more. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Roxy, we're going to open the Shattered Circle on Tuesday, and if you're in the group, it's only open to uh, challenge members, so we're not doing like a full-on uh, opening. So if you are in the Christmas Tree Challenge. You will have the option to join on Tuesday. I'm gonna add a little more of the sea foam down here. Absolutely, Susan. That's what I'm using is fire glass. All right, so we got this completely covered. Of course, now we need it to dry, right? So I am gonna plug in my, I'm gonna dump that in the water first. I'm gonna move this aside and I'm gonna grab my dryer and we are going to uh, dry this first. So that is three colors. I gotta unplug my phone again. Hang on. I only have a certain amount of little outlets. Need a extension cord. So yeah, three colors, uh, sea foam, bleach sand and white. So let's draw this real quick and then we can move right on to the next thing. Shouldn't take much. Yay, Mary Beth, we are gonna be excited to have you. I know Cheryl, wouldn't that be something? Sherry, the, our community manager, actually said I needed to ship load. I needed to truck a ship load over there to her because she's in Canada and that we could supply the whole country. <laughs> that would be nice. That would be nice if we could do that. Whew, this is, might take a minute longer because it, I put it on kind of thick. Um, Debbie, the Shattered Circle is $37 a month, and you get 
uh, two full-on video tutorials with a PDF doc and videos. And um, we do contests, Q&As, and if you're a member of the Shattered Circle, anything we do on this page, on this public page, you get the supply list and you get the tracers for everything we do here. So anybody, oh, I got paint on my shirt. Everybody who is a member gets the tracer and the colorway for this as well. Hey, Phyllis. Yeah, I tried to ship something to Canada one time and it was some glass and the girl was desperate. And the glass was like 30 something dollars and the shipping was like 140. That is crazy. Hey Selena, we are having a $10 um, challenge. I'm gonna scoop this over so I can show you while I'm drying it. We're having a $10 challenge. It starts tomorrow and we are doing three Christmas trees in three days in that challenge. Ooh, I was trying to draw my Christmas tree. So these are the three things we're doing. It's a $10 registration. You get forever access to the videos. So even if you join tonight, which is the last night to join, roll tide, even if you join tonight, you don't have to make your trees immediately because you have forever access to the videos and you can do them at your convenience, whenever it's good for you. Almost dry, guys. I'm kind of turning it into crackle. And it's a little thicker, so it's gonna take a minute for it to dry. So yeah, $10 challenge. Here is the link for anybody who needs it. Boom, I think. Boom. There's the link, and maybe it's not. I can't get it to paste now. Oh well, the link is at the top of the page, and um, almost there, and we would love to have you. When you register, the, when you pay the $10 registration, we send you an email that has a supply list and a link to our private Facebook page so that uh, you know where to find us tomorrow when we do our challenge. So, okay, I'm going to stop because... I'm annoyed with my own self and that dryer. It's still a little wet in this bottom corner here, but we're going, um, we're gonna move on, yes. So, we're gonna put these away, but this is what we're doing in the challenge, yes. Really cute, really cute th trees. So, I got one little wet corner down here because it's kind of thick down here, but I think it's safe to go ahead and roll tide, Natalie. We're, I think it's safe to go ahead and um, start and tr do our tracer. So, let's see. This is our angel that we're going to trace on. Let me see if I can get her situated the way I want her. And I'm gonna use some tape down here at the bottom just to keep my sweet little angel in place while, oh, my that stuck down good because it's in the wet paint. <laughs> keep it stuck down while we trace our um, angel onto our canvas. Every time I put it on a hot canvas, yay, Judy. So uh, we're gonna use this tracer and we're gonna use this graphite paper. This is kind of like that old timey paper, copy paper uh, that you used to use when you're trying to make copies and a typewriter. So they sell this in the art department at all art stores. And you can even get it in, um... oh, look at that. Cheryl, Liz on the border. Oh, that would be awesome. Girl, that is the sweetest thing anybody has ever said. So, uh, I digress. The, you can also buy this kind, yeah, carbon paper, sorry. Uh, you can also buy the, um, in the sewing department, they have this like in different colors. It's called transfer paper. 
Do you, do you ever painters tape the sides or the bottom? I don't, Debbie, because I'm lazy, but if you don't want your resin dripping over the sides or on the bottom, you totally should tape your sides and bottom to avoid that, but I just don't because I'd spend my life taping. <laughs> yes. Yes, Judy, that's what we were doing. So I'm going to lay my transfer paper or my carbon paper underneath and I'm gonna just go ahead and start tracing. Uh, somebody's gonna post that for you, Sue. Uh, Catherine will post that website for glass. Uh, so I'm gonna trace her cute little face and her neck and her little bosom. And I'm trying not to press my hand into the canvas. I wanna kinda of keep my hand up off the surface of the canvas so I'm not pressing that black all over the place. So let's see, we're gonna add just a, the beginning of her dress and then we're gonna give her some hair and I'm just gonna kinda do the outside version of her hair. Then we'll bring her dress down off the canvas, boom. And of course, I'm just gonna add a few little flowies in now. We're gonna add her wings, and I'm just gonna kind of freeform that, but I'm gonna add the outline of it, okay? So let's take a peek before you um, walk, before you pull your tape, just take a peek and make sure everything you want transferred has transferred to your canvas. Uh, Melanie, it's artshattered.com. So now I can put this aside because everything I need is there. I'm gonna stick this over here. So I'll remember tomorrow to send that to my girls and fellas. And so first thing I am going to do is give her a halo. So I'm gonna use metallic gold and I'm gonna use uh, Splendid Gold by Dazzling Metallics. And I'm just going to kind of very lightly make a halo around her head. I need to get a new plate because that one, there's stuff spread everywhere. I'm gonna do my gold first though. So you don't need much, that was too much. You don't need much. I'm gonna stick that under there for now. So I'm gonna grab a brush and wet it and offload the excess water and I'm just gonna get a tiny amount of gold on my brush. Now this gold is translucent and that's exactly what I want. I don't want a big gold uh, ring. I want it to be very faded. It is uh, called, I think it's called transfer paper. It's like that onion skin sheer paper and I bought it at Hobby Lobby. Charlotte, you know you've drizzled enough resin when your glass is completely covered and when you, I mean, let me make, hang on, let me make a circle, I can't talk. And when the rest of your canvas is covered as well. If it's so much resin that it's dripping off the sides, then that's a little too much. Now notice I just went right over her face too, because it doesn't really matter because we're gonna paint right over that. But I just want her to have a nice glow on her face. So there's that. All right, so we're gonna keep going. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this brush to just kind of get some of that gold off her face. I'm not worried about her hair too much because it's gonna be black. But we'll just get that gold off her face a little. And I'm gonna use, uh, I'll, sh I'll show you the pad when, we're, when we are done here, okay? Let's see. This is Americana Warm Beige. We're gonna use that for her face. So I'm just gonna put a teeny dab of that there because we only need a droplet. And we're gonna fill in her face and her neck. So I'm gonna just get some on this tiny little brush. And we'll just fill in her face. It may need more than one coat. And if it does, that's fine too. So 
we're going to fill it in. Let it dry. Then we'll do a little second coat and add a detail or two of shading. So she's starting to come to life already. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is her dress, okay? I want to do her dress first because I want her hair hanging down on top of her dress. And so I don't want to do her hair in Frozen and back. Are we back? We back? Hello, hello, hello. I have no idea what is happening. I'm just sitting here doing my thing and it's going off and on. I have no idea why that is happening. No sound? Can you hear me, Amanda? This is so annoying. So annoying. Somebody talk to me. If you can hear me, talk to me and let me know. Charlotte says she can hear me. Irene can hear me. Um, everybody, anybody, back, back, back. Guys, I have no idea. You know, you could see my hands. Yeah, no, I didn't <laughs> touch anything. I didn't do anything. It's just kicking me off and on. It did this to me when I first logged on. So let, I want to make sure we're back completely before I move on. Sound is good. Rima, can you hear me? Stephanie can hear me. Elaine can hear me. I'm back with sound, says Jonette. Sue, yes. Okay, so you think it's safe to continue? All right, sorry about that, guys. I have no idea what in the heck is going on. That is so annoying. So annoying. Okay, so I'm going to start. The background is done. I saw this comment earlier. The background was done with a palette knife because I wanted it to be uh, kind of texture looking and random. All right, so now I'm using, I'm going to use a palette knife for her dress too, but I'm going to start with some white right on the top. And then we're going to add the palette knife to make it flow downward. Okay. So we're still going to use a palette knife, but I'm going to start up here with the top of her dress being super white and crisp. All right, so then, goodness gracious, I don't know why it's doing that. That is so stinking annoying, but it did it when I first went live. I went live and I started uh, talking and then Facebook completely kicked me off. So, all right, so that's a good start. I'm gonna do one more little cut in right there, make sure that line is covered. And I'm gonna rinse my brush and then we're gonna work with our palette knife. I am gonna use my smaller one because I want a little more control. So we're gonna use the smaller palette knife and I am gonna get a little bit more white 
and we're not going to use the blue but we are going to use the white and we're going to use the bleached sand and we actually might use i don't know we might use a little burnt umber right what the heck meta i can't deal with that all right so i i don't know if i'm going to use that or not i, I pretty much Roll Tide. I pretty much just put it out there just in case, but I'm gonna use my smaller palette knife. Actually, I'm gonna get a little bit smaller one. Want to kinda have, look at that sweet knife. I kinda want it to be super loose and flowy. So I'm gonna start with, I'm actually gonna put just a tiny bit of this brown in, and I'm just going to like, do that. So dab it in. Oh, did they? I'm a Verizon person, I think. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of that brown and give it a chance to kind of dry up before we move on to that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna blow it. I didn't know that about AT&T. Is it going in and out? I want that to dry just a little bit. I'm not touching anything. I'm not even gonna get my blow dryer out again. Woo! That's crazy. So I'm gonna use this skinny little palette knife and I'm just gonna start adding in some beige. And I'm just pulling straight down like the flow of her dress. So we'll come over here, dab, dab, dab in the color, and bring it down, flow her dress, flow her dress, and we're basically gonna continue and fill in all, I probably needed a bigger knife. It's gonna take six days at this rate. Fill in I'm gonna use the bigger knife and then I'll go with the smaller one for detail. So pat it in, load your palette knife. You're gonna come up and add this color. All right, I'm gonna get right on the edge. And we'll get right on that edge. All right, that's a good bit of that color. So now I'm gonna come in with the white. I'm gonna get that off. And I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna dab my white on. So there's what the bottom of your knife is gonna look like. And I'm gonna come up here and I'm just gonna add white right on top. I smeared that brown, didn't I? And right on top. right on top and we're just creating just a really multi-dimensional dress for our angel so just keep pulling color you can add a little bit of that beige back in I actually have a little bit of that face color I might bring a little bit of that in too <laughs> don't be shy a little bit of white. Watch me, I'm gonna do something crazy in a second. A little bit of white again. I'm gonna come over here. So you see how it is kinda has a flowy texture instead of being one solid color of white. Let's go up here and bring it down. I'm gonna have to have some more white. Bring it down. So just keep futzing until you kinda like it. Now, I, that, I got a little too much white there. 
So I am gonna go, I'm gonna add just a smidge more of the bleach sand. That's right. Oh, Mary Beth, that's super sweet. Most of the time, I am literally just flying by the seat of my pants. Seriously. So I'm gonna get a little more of that taupe color and just bring a smidge of that in to that white so it's not solid. And let's get some more white. Wanna fill in the bottom. We'll fill it in with a little bit of the bleach sand and then come over it with some white. A little bit right here. Just kind of tickling it on, really. All right, I'm pretty pleased with that, but we need a little bit more white over the top. And then I'm gonna do something a little crazy. Maybe crazy, I don't know. We're gonna get something a whirl. So, a little bit of white back on top. See how much I have? Just a little smidge. I'm digging this so much already. I'm gonna grab my little baby knife and pull that up into her bosom area a little, just so it has similar texture. And I'm pretty happy with this. I'm gonna put this knife away for one second. I'm just gonna stick it in my water so it doesn't dry up. And I'm gonna take, this may be a disaster, just stick with me. I'm gonna take a little bit of this gold just on just the tiniest amount on my knife and see what happens. Oh yeah, just wipe it off. Do it again. Let's do right here, just bare, I'm barely touching. Just tickle in the surface so it doesn't really blend in with all the paint colors that you're just kind of tipping the uh, top. So let's go here. And one or two more like right in here. And then I'll show it to you. Okay, so let me show you this. Yes, I'm just barely touching. So pretty much that is what you're gonna end up with. I love it, it's perfect. I love it. So I'm gonna do one more thing and just see if this works. I want to, I'm gonna go in to this dark brown and I'm gonna hit the brown with just the side of my knife. Do you see that? Just on the knife's edge. And I am going to, just knife in a few lines into her dress. So just on the side of that blade, hey Krista, just on the side of the blade, I'm gonna come over here, do the same thing, just tip it with the side of your blade. Now we're gonna come in, I'm gonna like follow my paint line and just tip in That makes a big difference, doesn't it? We'll come up here. And I'll show you this cl up close so you can kind of see what I'm doing just in case you can't see it on the video. So let's do like right here. Just the side of your blade, not the bottom, just the side. And I think that's gonna work, I'm done. Done fussing around, done. So that is her dress. Now we're gonna do something similar on her wings, but we're gonna do mostly white. And I need to straighten this out some, hang on. There, that was being ornery. 
So we're gonna use, <clears throat> you're not a good tickler. It does take a little bit of practice. So before I use my palette knife, I'm actually going to take my brush and I am gonna brush on just the outside edge of my wings so I don't have to worry about staying in line. So it kind of covers up that tracer, even though we'll probably use our pen. Let's just rear. All right, so we're gonna use the white. What do you think so far, guys? I think she's gonna be really pretty. <clears throat> so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna use this one actually. It's thin, but it's a little shorter little easier to control. No sound again? No way. Are you kidding? What is happening? Oh, Jackie has sound. Does everybody have sound? I'm just gonna stop until you tell me. This is driving me crazy. We're good? Awesome. Okay, so on her halo, or her halo, on her angel wings, I'm gonna go in and just fill in with some white. Just a little bit. The, applying the white this way, even though you want it all white, allows you to create this kind of texture right here where, um, you could still see some of the background showing through. Oh, good. We have sound. So I'm going to get a little more white on my canvas. And we're going to create just some texture on her wing. It's hard to do a curve. So just pat it in. There you have it. Pat it in, and then just kind of tickle it on. Whoops, I had brown in there, or beige. So I don't really want this to be perfect. I want... Um, because we're gonna put glass on top of this too. I just do want it to have that flow of wings. Awesome. I was about to have a fit. Facebook's killing me, man. So just wiggle in. Those wings, see I have a little more on the back of that than I have in the past. Just kind of wiggle in that color. And while this dries, I wonder how a little bit of gold would look. So let's try it. If it doesn't look good, we won't do it again. Just a smidge of gold. Ugh, ugh, ugh. I like it. I like it. We're going to actually put glass there, so it's not going to be a big deal one way or another. Okay, the next thing we're going to do while we're waiting on all of this to dry is her hair. And for her hair, I'm going to use black. So I'll just stick some black over here. That is crazy. I don't know what's going on. So I'm just going to take a liner brush and go into my black and try not to get my arm <laughs> in the resin and in all this wetness. And I'm just going to start adding her hair in. Try 
Uh, I'm gonna get something to put my hand on because I don't want it in the black or in the wing paint. So I am just stroking. Come down into that a little bit. Her hair's hiding her arm. Oops, got it on my hand. So just bring that black down or whatever hair color you want. And we're gonna add a little dimension to it. Let's see. We'll tickle it down a little. I'm gonna get a little tiny bit of white on my brush and we're gonna add, well, that wasn't quite enough. And we're gonna not put our hand in that. And we're gonna add just a few little highlights in her hair so her hair is not one dimensional. So just a little bit of white on that black brush and just bring it down. to give her hair dimension, so it's not all just one color. You could even go into that brown a little. And add some brown, just whatever color you that makes you happy. So she is super, super cute. I love her so much. This is gonna take six years to dry, I swear it is. <laughs> so real quick though, I'm gonna take my little liner pen and I am, I'm gonna turn this this way because I'm gonna line her face. Oh, that, not that one. That would have been a boo-boo. This is so sticky. Oh my goodness, sticky, sticky. You could tell today I was touching everything with my sticky gloves because everything in my studio is sticky. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this graphite pen and I'm gonna just kind of line her face. We'll line her bosom. And I'm gonna try to stay out of the wet, but I am gonna Come down the line. If I can stay out of it, just add some lines. And if this was dry, we could just go ahead and do that as well. And let me see. I'm just going to do a couple strokes on our halo. Now, it's a waiting game, isn't it? <laughs> you could definitely line with gold. This came from Hobby Lobby. It is Master's Touch. Actually, this came from Amazon. But Master's Touch is a Hobby Lobby brand. Uh, that I bought a whole pack on Amazon. Master's Touch graphic uh, needle drawing pen. Uh, 0 0.5. And these are in the art department, okay? Make sure it says archival quality so that your resin doesn't make it smear, all right? Let me put all this away. I'm gonna try to blow dry this just a little bit. I'm gonna move some things away and we're gonna blow dry just a little. I don't wanna force it dry too much because it'll start to crackle, but I, do, I don't want us to sit here for six days. Now, I have got to unplug, I've got to unplug my, I gotta 
unplug. I'm gonna move her over, hang on one second, and I am going to plug in my heat gun behind me because I don't wanna touch my phone because it might destroy it, I don't know. Might make it go silent. Okay, she's all dry and look how pretty she is. So real quick, I'm gonna take my pen again and I am just going to add in just a few more lines over that dried paint into her dress. Just to give it a little more something. And now we're ready to resin. Uh, so, back here, you're saying you didn't get the ladder or you didn't get into the group yet. The membership will open on Tuesday to anyone who is in the Christmas tree challenge. 100% yes, Kathy, you can be, you can use wood. I love painting on wood, so absolutely. Yeah, just like Tracy said, make sure your emails are not ending up in your junk box. Let me tell you, Gmail and Yahoo are notorious for throwing our emails into your junk folder. So what you want to do is go to your email and do the search feature and search for Welcome to the Christmas Tree Challenge and see if it pops up. Oh, you're a member of the Shattered Circle, then you need to go, oh, into the group. Uh, yeah, uh, Sherry had a, a very busy day yesterday, and so she was uh, struggling to get all our member, all our people into the challenge yesterday, but I promise you, you will be in there ASAP if you're still waiting to be approved to join the Facebook page, okay? So, what else? Uh, <laughs> Rebecca, I'm obsessed too, so don't feel bad. You're in good company. Let's see, I wanna make sure... Uh, I got resin in my hair, it's driving me crazy. Let's see. Okay. Let's go back to the end. All right, so I am going to use, well, yeah, Paula, that's because, you know, I'm not, I'm not even going to say that. <laughs> Have you ever met a male angel? Actually, my boyfriend is pretty angelic, but sometimes he can be a little devil. So this is glass that I bought from Michael's in the floral department. It's called decorative filler, okay? It's over there where all of the um, floral, glass filler, beady kind of stuff is on the, um, in the floral aisle, okay? That's right, Rebecca. So, I'm going to use this. This You can find that at most of your Michaels. And it comes in blue, champagne, purple, and I think pink. So, I'm going to use that glass. I could use clear, too. Let me put a little bit of this on and see how I like it. I'm really going to just be very random. Let me flip that over. I think I'm gonna put this on her wings. And then, get in there. I want it to be loosey-goosey. I don't want it to be perfect, covering every square inch. And maybe, should we put glass on her dress too? Y'all don't like that she don't have a hand, do you? Her arm is under her hair. Should we add something? I don't know. I don't do hands, really. <laughs> I don't do hands, so I don't even, I wouldn't even know what to do. So her hand is under her hair, and we're going to leave it at that because that's how I roll. So we could just add bits, just a tiny bit of clear. Let's make sure they're little ones, not great big ones. To her dress, too. Just little bits. Or we could do uh, seed beads. I'm 
I'm going to just divvy it out. And uh, then I'll pick up anything that's too big. That's too big. That's too big. I want them to be little. That's too big. Boom. 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 I'm going to keep it lower waist. We have a few more. She could have a long flowy sleeve. Hmm. We could do that. Maybe I'm gonna try. Let's do this. Watch this. Watch this. Hold your horses. Hold on. Hang on, all you hand people. Let's keep it fresh. Watch this. The color on her wings is the champagne color that I got at Michael's. It's kind of a champagne color. So we're gonna add her a hand. That's too much. Hang on. I got to get that off. That's terrible. Say, I told you. <laughs> I told you. I don't do hands. Hang on. We're just going to make a little. Uh, if it's tempered glass and it's in large chunks, you're going to be hard pressed to break it because it's tempered and it doesn't break easy. So, I hate that. I hate that hand. I hate that hand. So we're gonna go with it though. The halo is too perfect, that's okay. We don't mind. So I'm gonna let that dry for a sec. We'll add a little bit more glass. Just smatter it around. I'm not trying to get it everywhere and make it perfect. Just little droplets here and there. We're filling in that hole. Trying to dig out all these little babies. No, you didn't offend at all. Girl, it's going to take a lot more than that to offend me. You did not offend me in the least. Not in the least. Okay. So, I'm just going to move this around a little. and We're going to let it be because this is like... I could do this all night, literally. This could be an all night process. <laughs> Rebecca, right? That's funny. All right, we're, I'm, I'm done. I, I'm, I'm sick of myself. All right, I'm gonna put that away. And I'm gonna put this paint away before I make a mash. Spill it. All right, so I'm gonna grab something to elevate my canvas. And then we're gonna do resin. Who is ready for resin? Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna elevate my canvas with these blocks so that it, if I have too much resin, it doesn't drip down and glue my canvas to the table. And let's do it. 
I don't know. I feel like I feel like something's missing. I don't know why. I don't know what it is, but I feel like something's missing. I feel like maybe we have too much glass. What do you guys think? I don't know. I'm annoying myself. Getting on my own nerves. This is how I paint when nobody's looking. <laughs> uh, I do have gold glass. I'm gonna wipe this up a little. But I don't have any around here, so I think the glass, I'm, I'm just gonna let it go, okay. So, we are going to mix up, I'm going to mix up an ounce of resin. That might be, um, might be pushing my luck with that, but we're going to give it a whirl. We're going to give it a whirl. Black lines to define her waist. Like up at the top, I mean. Like here. I don't know. <laughs> we may add some seed beads when we're done. So let's just let's just go with it. And then we'll see what we feel when it's done resining. Okay. So I am going to mix. I actually am going to change that. I'm going to mix a little bit more. Seriously? I'm gonna mix a little bit more. I'm gonna go with an ounce and a half. So I'm gonna mix three quarters ounce of hardener and three quarters ounce of resin. And we, hopefully that'll be it. So y'all do y'all's how you want. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pour. I'm gonna go over here because I'm right-handed and that felt awkward. And I'm gonna pour three quarters ounce of hardener. Slow your roll, sister. And three quarters ounce of resin. And who's gonna time me? Who's here? Rima, Catherine. You don't clean your brush. Oh, uh, some, I'm gonna use, or you can use something like this to spread your resin, and then you just clean it off with an alcohol wipe, just a baby wipe of some sort. So I'm gonna use my Die Hard cup that I've used for like forever, and I am going to dump into my cup the three quarters ounce of resin and then I'm gonna dump in my hardener or whichever it is could be opposite she is super cute I can't believe it's almost seven o'clock. What in heaven's name? All right, we'll throw that. Yes, they do, Linda, and I actually, they're, they're uh, clear, so I actually have to draw a little line with a pen so that I know where to stop because you can't hardly see the measurement. Go ahead, Rima, I'm mixing. So I'm gonna stir my resin for three minutes. So anybody who has a question about um, the challenge, our Christmas tree challenge, or maybe a question about resin or the shattered circle or whatever, now's a great time to ask me questions because I have got three minutes of undivided attention. So let me know if you have a question about the challenge or about resin or about art in general or any other thing. Ask me anything. Three minutes. 
So when you're mixing, you don't wanna beat it to death, guys. You wanna just stir slowly, scrape the sides and the bottom so it all gets mixed really nicely. And that way you don't have a hot mess in the end. Becky, I do not have classes at my art shop right now. Uh, I was going to when I first moved here, but then COVID hit. And so I haven't really uh, started that back up yet. And I'm having surgery on the 29th. And I got about a six weeks recovery time. So maybe in the spring, we'll add some classes back. Uh, once it's mixed, you have 30 to 45 minutes, Tracy, which should be plenty of time. And if you want to clean your resin containers, you can just use a paper towel or a baby wipe and wipe them out so you can reuse them. Templates are only available to Shattered Circle members. Tem templates and colors are available to Shattered Circle members. So if you're a member, you get it. If you're not... You should be a member. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to answer. Yes, there is a yearly prescri prescription. Yes, there's a yearly subscription, Carolyn. And if you sign up for a year, you get two months free and immediate access to our vault, which has over 50 workshops in it. So... Linda, you can buy the cups on Amazon, or they have a small quantity of cups at Hobby Lobby in the candle making section. Suzette bought half inch red fireplace glass, ended up being too large. Have you? No. You might try the skillet method, Suzette, where you put the glass in an old pan that you're not going to use anymore, heat it up on the stove, and then dump it, heat it up for about 15 minutes. Dump it in cold water and then take it out and on a hard surface and whack it with a hammer. I have not had success breaking tempered glass at all. It is just not designed to be broken smaller. Okay, so Carol wants to know how you put resin in a warm bath. First off, you want to make sure your tops are on super tight, okay? You don't want water getting into your resin. They hate each other. Then you're going to fill your sink or whatever with uh, warm water. And then you're going to put your resin bottle in about three quarters of the way. And you may have to put something on top of it to weight it down in the water if your resin is half empty. And you want to let it sit there for about 20 minutes. That will warm up your resin. Edie, get your supplies. You're going to be hooked. Will the class for the trees be on Facebook or where? Jimmy if or Gail, whoever, if you are registered for the Christmas Tree Challenge, you will have received a link to our own private Facebook page where we will be live for the three days in that group. It's a private group, not here. Let's see. 45 seconds. Time is up, she said. Don't be yelling at me. <laughs> Don't yell at me. Okay, so I'm going to scrape one more time just to be sure. And I'm just going to start adding my resin where my glass is. So I'm just going to, I see I have a little something in there. I don't want a little piece of black or something. All right, so I'm just going to start drizzling where my glass is. I'm loving this already. Oh. Get all that glass covered up really nicely. Now we'll go to this glass. Make sure it's all covered. Ooh. 
got a big dot of white paint right on the front of my shirt, which hurts my feelings because this is a fairly new shirt and I should have known better. Should have known. Hopefully, I'll be able to get it out. Put some tr fabric tr or treatment on it. So, just keep going till it's all covered. And you can see when you use clear glass over the top of something, it really allows your background or your, yeah, your background to peek through and it shows off your colors really nicely. So, always remember that your background is going to dictate what your finished piece looks like. So, if we had painted this black, and put clear glass on it, it would have just been black. Um, it, it's gonna always dictate the outcome of your canvas. All right, almost there. Get up there. Now, once I get all the glass covered, I can take the remaining resin and just, ooh, that was the perfect amount. I'm glad I changed my mind and didn't uh, just do an ounce because we needed that extra bit. So I'm gonna scrape out the rest and lay it out on the top of my canvas. And now I'm actually gonna use my hands. I think it'll be faster. I'm gonna use, see, I'm gonna just wipe that off with a paper towel. Yeah, Nina, that has happened to me before too. So the key really is, uh, if you're catching yourself missing spots, is to look at your piece in the light, like sideways, kind of look at it from an angle, or even shine a flash. Where do you think you're going? Even shine uh, like a flashlight on it and look for spots that aren't shiny. So the spots that aren't shiny are skippies. So it happens to the best of us, big time. So I'm gonna just spread it around. Spread it to the edges. This was the perfect amount. It's not too thin and it's not gushing over the edges and that's just the way I like it. All right, so I'm rubbing around my edges to make sure they're done. Now, I, do, I am going, yes, you do need to make sure your table is level or that your piece is level before you start. Because if it's not, your resin's gonna lean towards the low end and run off and you're gonna have issues, okay? So always make sure your surface is level. You take these gloves off. Uh, I would just use like a, a yellowy color and maybe a little white added in. I'm gonna use my torch on this because my heat gun's on the other side of the room now. Uh, you can use a heat gun, a kitchen torch, or even a blow dryer. Thank you, Candy. Even a blow dryer to pop bubbles because you're mixing the resin creates bubbles. So you need a heat source to pop those bubbles. You, like I said, a blow dryer in a pinch on high heat, low air, a kitchen like creme brulee, um, kitchen torch, or even like the little uh, heat gun that I had, like I'll show you. This was like 12 bucks on Amazon. You can use this big time. You're glad, yeah, it does look better. I'm not gonna admit it, but it does look better. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do one more thing. Don't hate, okay, don't hate. But I am gonna add, I'm gonna get a little cup. And I have these Crystal Luster, they're iridescent clear seed beads. So, 
who could not resist adding a little crystal luster to her dress. Just tap in however many you want. It just gives her dress a little umph. That one got out of line, but we'll fix that in a minute. So pretty. It just gives it, in person especially, a little bit more shimmer. And let me scoot that thing over. I love seed beads too. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've started putting them on just about everything. They just add that little final touch, don't they? Maybe. Oops, let me wiggle that around a little. We'll add one more little tap. Got it in her hair. She got beads in her hair. Voila. All right, I'm done. I'm super, super happy with her. Um, I wish I had drawn her hand, but we're not gonna, I'm not gonna dwell on that. I love her. I think she is fantastic. Let me give you a little close up. There. That's her head. Look at her dress. Is she not fantastic? I love her. I love her. I think that was just the right amount of glass. I like the difference between the champagne colored and the clear. So I think she is gorgeous. Thank you.